Hey everybody, welcome to Precipice. Yeah, this is a indie horror game you get on Game Jolt. Uh, my friend Gab actually recommended it to me. Uh, it's all in French. Um, that's why it's called me a quitter. And let's nacer le jeu. Yeah. Precipice, I guess. All right, yeah. Uh, so apparently this is like a blatant PT clone, but apparently it's pretty good. So I wanna, I'm gonna give it a shot. If it sucks, then let's all blame Gab. <laughs> um, also, it uses the French keyboard layout. So Z is move forward and S is move back. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, this is this is a blatant PT clone already. Ooh. All right, yeah, so Z is walk forward, S is walk backwards. Um, D is move that way. Let's see, what is... Then Q is walk to the left. So A, or Q, D, S, Z. Weird, that's so weird, all right. Do I have to... Okay, good. Oof. I was gonna figure out what the interact button was. This is blatantly PT. I love it. I love it. Is there Rebecca Black? <laughs> okay, that doesn't open. Uh, this is in the Unreal Engine. Thus the, uh, the shine to everything. Oh yeah, and you can see like the European plugs. Cute. What music you got? Uh, God Save You, White Queen. Kevin Page, don't know any of these guys. Alright. <laughs> this is so silly. How you doing, everybody? Doing good? I am doing... okay. You know, follow me on Twitter, you should, because I uh, talked about some pretty heavy family <laughs> shit going on. Said a bad word, gotta bleep it out. I'm still doing the test. It's just a test for like the next week to see if not swearing increases my ad rev. A lot of people are kind of freaked out about it on my, uh, uh, Contarium, Conarium video thing like I'm gonna become like a family friendly channel. Not gonna happen as I'm doing a test to see if cutting out swear words will uh, help ad rev. Because while I go through the preliminary few rooms, I'm gonna talk about something. A lot of people don't know that YouTube had like a huge. Like, ad revenue, like, fallout. Like, a lot of advertisers left YouTube over, like, controversial videos and stuff like that. Uh, and so, like... I'm, I'm making about, like, half of what I used to. So, like, everybody's, like, trying to scramble and figure out, like, you know, what is going on, what's YouTube doing to fix it. And rumor has it that they've introduced an algorithm that will scan a video and not put as many ads on videos that contain a lot of swear words and just won't monetize videos that contain like trigger words. Like uh, I have a game where I talked about, um, I, I can't even say the word, and it's kind of, it's called Emporium. So you guys go look it up, it's actually pretty good. But that one contains a sensitive subject. And uh, it was actually demonetized for a while. And now it's monetized but like not getting like any feedback on it. See, so yeah, it's just interesting. We're trying to figure out what's going on, because YouTube never tells us anything. Ever. <laughs> anyway, sorry, this is super boring already. This conversation, that is. The game, I mean, it needs to start doing something soon. Like... I'm trying to figure out, like, did I miss something? Is this, like, literally the same loop over and over? And I have to find something? 
I was like, nothing's really changing. So 1415 is the time. Let's see if it changes whenever I go through. Also, holding the Z button for so long feels really weird. 1415. Ah, there we go, finally. Finally something happened. How many loops was that before I actually got the first scare? Like, uh, I feel like if you're gonna do like a PT clone, like you gotta like start doing, changing things pretty rapidly. That sucks. Things feel different going this way. Is that a PS4 game? Oh, PT. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. There's a reference to it right in the game. Also, why are there like cigarettes on the ground? What's the deal with all the smoking inside? That's gross. Oh, there's another door. Hi. What? What? Yeah, that's where the cabinet was. Okay, all right. I'm feeling it now. <laughs> all right, I'm in. <laughs> Sold. Old school gun up there. Cute. I get, like, kind of freaks me out whenever I go through the door. Because, like, it, like, pushes his face into the door first and then does the animation. It's like, it, it kind of startles me each time. There's just not a whole lot to, like, really interact with. It's just, like, try doors. Walk through. I mean, that's... I think that's good, because I wouldn't know how to actually interact with anything if I had to. If it's not just a click. Flashing all around, flashing all around, da 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 da. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Like, the game looks really good. Jeez, I'm crease them. All right, 14, 19. So we are progressing time wise. Got like an epilepsy warning in the description or something. Yeah, I was waiting for that one to happen. All right, let's go and pass through. Great. Great, great, great. Great! Ooh. What? What? Uh, I heard a door open. I really cannot see where I am. Uh... Can I turn the lights on? No? Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> this is actually kind of spooking me a little bit. I don't know why. It's because I haven't, I haven't played like an indie horror game in a while. I've been playing a lot of series. This is getting so loud. This is getting so loud. 
Alright, was I supposed to find something in here? Or is this... Here, what if I... How far back can I walk? Right there? Alright, so that door's locked. So what's the point of actually being able to come in here? Is there a flashlight I missed? Or a torch, I guess they would call it. Do French people call it torch? I honestly don't know. Oh boy. Oh my god, there was a door there. Oh, hi. No, no, no. Thumbnail. <laughs> Can I turn this off, please? Hi. Oh, cool. So, the light's kind of pointing towards the piano, but I can't play the piano. Oh, that's creepy. I need the I need the flashlight. There we go. Uh. How do I? So I have to press all the buttons. And see what the pull out command is. Go. Do it. Go, go, gadget, flashlight. Go. Uh. Maybe it'll turn on if I leave. What? What? What is the flashlight button? Oh, that's gonna kill me. Controller doesn't work. Is there? Oh, that's that's quit. Mm. He's gonna put me right back in that in that room. No, I don't like you. Everything's so flashy. Okay, so apparently I have to pull the flashlight out or something. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Alright, so... No. Okay. So sh** finally happening. Ah, swear word again. <laughs> I have such a potty mouth. Excuse me? That was pretty effective. All right, that was that was, that was that suitably creeps. I keep waiting for this thing to change. I think it's interesting they got they had they have two different loops now. Oh, and I'm back out here. Okay. Neato. Let's try this door, because this one has yet to open. <laughs> this is actually pretty effective. This is, this is kind of creepy. Let's try the down stair door first.
All right, so that's put me back through here. Like, I, I usually hate PT clones. Like, I think they're just, like, very... At this point, it's just like, okay, you did it. Cool. Excuse me? What is... What? Is it the smoke detector? Make that sound stop, please. It sounds like somebody right somewhere. I'm getting farther away from it. Hi. That that closing sound, is that from like instant messenger? Like when somebody logs out? Okay, what? Stop. Stop, Coney. All right, I'm leaving. You're annoying. Why would a radio make that sound? Neat. I like that it automatically turns my flashlight off. Like, let me do that. There hasn't been a bathroom segment yet, which all PT clones and horror games these days need a bathroom segment. Oh boy. Nope. All the lights up there went out. I don't want to go back up there. Hi. He disappeared. He poofed. Let's try this door. Nope. Oh. Buddy, knock it off. You're being a jerk. You're being being a douche. Hello? I think this is actually kind of creepy. I actually think this is pretty well done. Hi. Alright, you're still there. The music's changing now. Oh, wee, oh. Oh, oh. I wonder if I have to worry about copyright with any of this. So the last thing I need right now is to have to worry about copyright stuff. While YouTube's being a big old poop. Alright, did I just did I just click too too fast on the door? Nope, it's totally locked. Do I just wait for the music to stop? Maybe that's like a timed thing? Let's try now. Maybe go through this door and it'll put me in a different loop. Oh, there's another door right here. Is this supposed to be like the zooming around part? Hi. What's up? Ah, oh, mannequins. Why'd it have to be mannequins? Why'd it have to be mannequins? That looks really creepy. Like, that. that's pretty good. I like this. It's very visually interesting. I think more PT clones should try to go for visual flair. If they're gonna try to do anything. 
not gonna try something new, then like at least try to look good about it. Hi. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. So that, that's pretty neat. That is that's pretty neat. Excuse me, ladies. Nineteen ninety-five. What is significant about nineteen ninety-five? Is that when the... No, the PlayStation came out like 94, right? What came out in 95? Everybody, post some 1995 facts for me in chat if you're still around. Not in chat. I mean, uh, in the comment section. Can I turn this computer on? There's been... So, again, like, again, there's been very little interaction. IT link with objects in this game. Like, it's mostly just clicking doors, but I think it's it's had enough, like, visual flair where I'm like, okay, this is, this is fine. Can I go backwards? Nope, okay. Oh, there's another door there. Hello, excuse me. You're locked. It's like, doors just, like, appear, almost. So it's kind of hard to, like, keep up with where they are. Uh, lights are flashing now. Lights went out back there. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Oh, God in a bad romance. I've heard this song in indie horror games before. So, like, what's the story? What's the deal with the fly man? Or is it just like creepy stuff? Like, I got some creepy assets. Let's use them. I got creepy lights and creepy mannequins. Let's go. We're making a game. I've heard this music in like a million different games before. Hi. You're the one that ran at me. You're not nice. <laughs> I don't like you. Um, let's try this door. Did I try it? Uh How long has this been so far? I think it's gonna be around like a 30 minute video. Maybe. Um, now you're headless. You're gonna run at me again? Please don't. That was annoying. Now you have a head! Hey! Congratulations! Woo! Good job! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I was rooting for you. Ah! Headless again. I just keep losing your heads. I would hate to live in a house like this. Like, even like, you know, even if like the hallways didn't repeat as much as they do. Oh no, behind me? Okay. Cause like, everything's like so closed off and like there's very little windows. Like, this is very, just a very claustrophobic house. Hello? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <sighs> the, the footsteps running away as the lights went out. That was a very nice touch. That was a very nice touch. This is like this this has some like really good ideas. Okay. I'm always afraid to turn around. Once I like go to a locked door, I'm always afraid to turn around.
Anything at the computer? Still not a... Okay. You're locked. I feel like this is... Oh, there's another door now. See, like, doors just appear. I think that's really cool. Why? Why would you turn off? Okay. What? What? <laughs> what? It's like right now, why is- why doesn't he turn on- what? Why doesn't he turn on his flashlight? It's like, oh, there's some light somewhere, so I better turn my flashlight off. Like, no! Leave that on all the time! Do you see what you're- what you're dealing with? Mannequins and weird... Bug dude? Excuse me? I think I missed a scare there. Ah, uh, here's the bathroom segment. Every horror game needs a bathroom segment. Neat. Every horror game needs an elevator and a bathroom segment. It's like some weird law that <laughs> you have to agree to when you're making a horror game. It's like, are you gonna put in an elevator sequence? Bathroom sequence? No? Can't get made then. Uh-uh, give up. Your dream is dead. <laughs> you gotta follow the rules. You need flashy lights and a bathroom sequence. You're gonna, you put your characters in the elevator, you gotta make that drop, like, 20 feet, and then, they're okay. Oh, Nice turnaround. Nice, ooh. I like games where, when you turn around, things are different, and they, it just screws with you. I love it. It's like a maze now? Here we go. Oh man, something's gonna come come at me. Ooh, it's getting slower. At me, bro. Don't at me. I don't want this. I'm getting all weebly wobbly. What you got? Am I dying? Was I in a hospital the whole time? Oh, okay. Guess that's it. Alright everybody, that was Precipice. That was actually a pretty clever little indie horror game. Uh, I would like to see... Beta tester was done by Spirus. I'd like to see devs that can make games like look like this and have ideas like this not do PT clones. Because I feel like they could make good actual games <laughs> and not just walk, walk through Hall Simulator over and over. Kind of disappointed with the ending. Like I expected something to kind of pop out like one last scare. But eh, other than that, I thought it, I thought it was good. There are a lot of interesting ideas. Uh, it was visually striking. I feel like they did lighting very well. Um, don't know the story. I don't even know if there is one. Could have just been like, here's some spooky assets, go. Kind of thing. But yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Or, as the French say, au revoir. Is that... I don't know. Whatever. Bye.